Hi, Soul Family. Please excuse my extremely tired face, but um, we all know haven't had much sleep. I wanted to show you something. Um, it's a really great idea that uh, Cheryl Lynn, uh, one of my soul sisters, our soul sisters, um, was given and did herself. And so I did it as well, and I thought it was beautiful. I spoke about it in... Um, um, <laughs> I'm so tired, sorry. The post, one of the posts. And what it is is to sit rose quartz along with a clear quartz charger to amplify the intention. It's sitting in water, but you notice it's not a ton of water. And these are, for me, they resemble raindrops. And the intention is, this is my intention, that this gentle, consistent, steady rain falls upon the fires in Australia and anyone else that needs them. Not a lot, but consistent, steady rain. That is my intention. It also goes with love. The clear quartz amplifies that energy and that intention. But then I went outside and I did something else. Beautiful day in Canyon Lake. Wow. I saw a falcon earlier, and it was a pretty decent size one. It's sitting on the tree over there. Um, it's not a kestrel, so it must be a peregrine. I don't know what other falcons are in this area, but falcon says it speaks about endurance and ultimate victory. So ultimate victory, meaning it may be hard won. <laughs> so ultimately, there will be victory. That's the message. So I decided to come out here, and I remembered I had these quartz these are clear quartz crystal and they're angel wings. That's what I saw when I first saw them. So this is asking for angelic assistance. Um, obviously, Archangel Raphael. And calling upon all the other heavenly energies that are happy, positive, helpful. Wherever they come from, I don't care, right? Any, any energy, any entity that is wanting to help. And so this, as you can see, the rain... This, this, is, this is also rose quartz, which is the greatest love stone of all, amplified massively by these angel wings. This, to me, represents other things as well. This is green. Green is healing, love, growth. This can be raindrops. But, and this is obviously passion, right? Love also getting grounded, rooted, right? So the water soaks into the roots. But for me, the message is, these are life-giving waters. Now, if any little bees want to come by and take a drink, right? They won't drown in this. They'll have somewhere to go. But this water, this life-giving water, is to go out to everyone. That's what all of the different color stones represent to me. All the different states, provinces, countries, nationalities, belief systems, we don't even care. This is just, we are all part of the United Collective. So these are, this is asking, the intention is to send out life-giving waters to all who need it. I spent hours last night sending Reiki, and this morning. I started last night sending Reiki to the animals. I, they're my best friends. And uh, so it was, and, and I started with my animals. My little Sammy has asthma and he has allergies, and he's had an extremely abusive life up until I got him. And he's struggling. Um, it scares me. And uh, so I gave him, I was giving him Reiki, and then <clears throat> it went to Willow. She's, they're both senior rescue cats. And then to Liger, he's 16 almost, in February. And uh, he's got skin conditions and sore bones and joints and uh, He's my big boy, right? Had him since he was three weeks old. I rescued him. Fed him with an eyedropper. Woke up every two hours in the middle of the night to feed that little guy, and he's now huge, right? So uh, I started with them, and then I spread it out to my spiritual twin. Always send it to my spiritual twin and to my family, to my grandson. My grandson is um, depressed right now. He's 13 years old. His mom's worried about him, so it went to him. And then I thought, you know what? It can go to everyone. Why can't it go to everyone? So I called on Archangel Raphael to assist me, Archangel Metatron to work with the children, Archangel Michael to shield and protect and open the crowns and stay over top of them, protecting them. And if their hearts were open to it, to receive the Reiki, and I sent it out worldwide. So I spoke about it this morning and all anybody has to do, oh, 
I'm seeing a wish go by. I wonder if you'll be able to see it. It's right there. You see it floating? It's a wish. Make a wish right now. It's being carried up to spirit. I don't know if you saw it. I did. Um, all that was required was that um, you say that, yes, please, my heart is open to receive all the healing energy, all the love, the unconditional love to every part of my life that you are wishing to bestow upon me. That's all that's needed, right? And it's okay. If the Reiki goes out and it's not accepted, it comes back to me and I can certainly use it. So I'm kind of looking at the ripples uh, on the water, right? And to me, that's the energy moving across the water. Ooh, wow. Wow, the sun feels good. Pull that in. Pull that energy in. Ask that energy to burn away anything that's toxic that's inside of you, around you, near you. Fill yourself up with that divine masculine energy, forward movement, growth, happiness, love, light. Thank you, Father. All right, you guys, that's it.